Hello and welcome! My name is Eva and this is Get Ready With Me Sick Edition. <coughs> Which means this is this kind of makeup when you're sick but you need to go somewhere and you need to look like a let's say more healthy human. You want to look as not sick as possible. And because I am a good YouTuber, I am, I hope, a good teacher. I'm going to do this tutorial very realistic one because I am sick right now. So what's the better situation to show you the best makeup for a sick person than on the sick person? <laughs> By the way, please don't write uh, get well soon or something like that because believe me, by the time I publish this video, I will be healthy. <laughs> <laughs> so don't bother even, you're watching this video when I'm healthy already, okay? It's only allergy or common cold and I even know who infected me, but he takes care of me so he will live, for now at least. <laughs> So basically, when I'm sick, my appearance is the last thing I care about. But sometimes there is this time when you need to go somewhere and you want to feel, well, let's say a little bit more comfortable and look like, a, let's say, decent, normal person. So today I'm going to show you this kind of makeup, this very minimalistic makeup that only will make you look just better, good, more healthy. <laughs> of course, if you love makeup, then nothing will stop you. And if you want to do full makeup, it's up to you. I'm going to show you the most lazy, quick and light edition of this makeup possible. Making sure that is friendly to your dry nose because you have runny nose or a tendency to watery eyes when I have a runny nose. My nose is completely blocked right now, so I breathe mostly from my mouth, so this area also eh, is a little dry. So we're going to take care of it too. I didn't style and uh, take care about my curls, I just don't care. I have a lot of freeze, but that doesn't matter. First, I'm going to change my clothes and also I change my glasses for contact lenses. But if you have watery eyes, you have sensitive eyes when you're sick, then maybe you want to stay with glasses. And a few days ago, I would stay with glasses, but right now I'm feeling better. So I'm going to put on my contact lenses. Be right back. A little bit better now. Now I want to do something with my hair. No matter if I have long or short hair, I keep my hair away from my face when I'm sick. Now it's time for the moisturizer. Like cream is very important part of your routine and especially before any makeup. But when you're sick, your skin might need your daily dose of moisturizer even more than usually so that's why i have to include this step here in this tutorial now very moisturizing and nourishing cream i apply on my nose if you have like i a lot of issues with runny nose during being sick then you want to use delicate uh, tissues I'm not using wet tissues, I'm using normal tissues, but these ones that has name with the with balsam and aloe vera or something like this, they are always more gentle for my nose and skin of my nose. So basically this triangle, my nose and my mouth, this is place where I apply this more nourishing and moisturizing cream. And now we can do makeup. <laughs> I suggest you to start from your eye makeup because meanwhile you're going to be able still to blow your nose. <laughs> so <laughs> nose is at the very end. <laughs> I'm starting with my base, my P. Louise base. I want very minimalistic makeup, but still I want it to be not creasing makeup. <laughs> so I will apply a little amount of base 
only on my upper eyelid. I won't be bothered by my lower eyelid. Like I said, it's very, very quick and very minimalistic makeup. I won't be bothered also by shimmers, but if you want to use shimmers, it's of course up to you. I'm going to use my very classic matte palette, so a shade and light by KVD. What I would suggest you is to use neutral or warm tone uh, shades, so not cool toned, because we already look a little bit dead and we want to look more cheerful and more alive. If you watched my previous video, then you know that this brush that I used for my matte base shade is the oldest brush in my collection and the first brush for blending and I'm going to use it today to do my makeup. First I'm taking matte beige. Um, I'm going to use this or this, or I'm going to mix them maybe. I'm applying it on almost all my eyelid to my outer corner, but I leave my outer corner for, well, eye contouring. So I only like clean my eyelid so it will look just lighter, more opened, less sleepy. And I'm starting from the lightest shade because I'm going to use the same brush for the next shade. And this shade will be this one, so just medium uh, brown shade on the tip of my brush. And I'm going to contour with circles. I don't have time or energy to do super perfect, flawless makeup, so I'm just blending to contour my eye just a little bit. Also here, referring to my previous video about blending, I'm using pretty big fluffy brush and I'm using big circles because I want to blend very quickly. It won't be super precise blending but right now I don't care about it. <laughs> so no sandwich techniques, nothing like that. Very quick circles, a little bit brown, a little bit beige, that's all. Extra step if you want it, take a little bit darker matte shade. So I'm taking this one with angled brush and I'm adding just a really, really little line in my outer corner. Nothing special, you know, from this the highest point of my eyelid towards my outer corner. And also what's left on the brush, I can take on my lower lash line. Not eyelid, only lash line, of course, starting from my outer corner. Very gentle, although I start to feel tears. Oh, If you have tendency for watery eyes while you sick, then uh, I would avoid shimmer shades, only matte shades. I would avoid makeup on your lower eyelid. Also uh, mascara waterproof and if you want to apply something on your waterline then also it should be waterproof. I'm going to apply beige pencil, it's long lasting, it's almost waterproof um, because beige pencil, not only when you're sick but in general in makeup, opened your eyes and make them more fresh so I'm going to apply it just to make my eyes look a little bit better but of course if you have very sensitive eyes then you might want to skip this step. I think my eyes look much better now, more opened, a little bit less sleepy. So now I need to take care of my skin. Here also you have some options. If you need base, use base. Like I said, if you love makeup, then nothing will stop you from using your full coverage foundation. But I recommend to you either tinted balms, something very light, almost like you know, making only your skin a little bit better, but not full coverage, or using only, only concealers. I want to show you how to do it only with concealers. In your collection, you should have two concealers, one in the color of your skin or your foundation, and the other one a little bit lighter. I'm going to start with the lighter shade, and I'm going to apply it slightly under my eye. 
Uh, normally I like to blend it with finger, this time I'm going to use my uh, beauty sponge, makeup sponge, because it will, let's say, eat a little bit of my concealer and this way won't this coverage be so hard. You really don't want full coverage when you're sick, you want to only look better. <laughs> and you don't want full coverage, you'll see why, and it's because of blowing your nose. We get to it. So I apply very small amount of this concealer. Believe me, this is a very gentle amount. I'm blending it under my eyes, towards my temples, no forehead. You only need to make your skin more flawless, make this color of your skin more even. And also my chin, just slightly. And now the issue with the nose. First of all, if you have a lot of redness, if you have super light concealer and you want to use it, or super light tinted balm, or super light foundation, whatever, and it doesn't cover your redness, then I suggest you to use green concealer. This one is by Inglot, it's like little jar, and this is the best green concealer I ever used, and I'm going to use it on some of my spots. So I take little brush and I'm going to apply it on some of my spots to make sure that I cover this redness. This is Color Wheel, this is Color Fury. Uh, green is opposite to red. That's why also they blend into <laughs> not very nice color. It's hard to use them in makeup, but green is great for color correcting. So for redness, I will use it a little bit on my nose because my nose is super red. With your nose, you have a few options. One option is, if you have mineral foundation, so this foundation in powder, then use this. Because when you're going to blow your nose, then it's not a problem to add some of this, basically powder, on your nose. What I will suggest <laughs> is just to, like I did right now, start with just concealers. Do your face with concealers. This way coverage will be very light. It will look like your skin and even if you will blow your nose and take off some of this concealer it won't be so visible. Also I won't use powder on my nose. I will use powder under my eye and I will use a little bit powder on my forehead but I'm not going to do it on my nose. I rather just to take a little bit of concealer, maybe concealer or cream, this is up to you what concealer you like, and uh, blow my nose and just make sure that my nose is uh, and again in the right color. And you can do it only when your nose isn't set it, because here if you won't have any powder you can add some concealer and it won't look cakey. So you can add it, take it off while you blow your nose and add it again. By the way, funny stuff, <laughs> I did my makeup like this before I found my perfect foundation. I couldn't find perfect shade of my foundation, so I basically use concealers to do my makeup. Now on the rest of my face, a little bit of this darker concealer. So on the middle of my face I used a lighter one and now I use this concealer that is more in the color of my skin or color of my foundation and just a little amount of concealer in crayon just for the very bad boys <laughs> now i'm going to use some powder but not on my nose and i'm using pvd uh, locket it's very light powder, it's not super matte. Don't use super matte powder, your skin is already very sensitive. You don't need <laughs> super amount of dryness on your skin right now. So only to set some areas of your skin, but avoid nose, 
If you want to use some contour ink, it's up to you, but I'm going to do bare minimum. To make my skin as much alive, I'm going to use just blush, and this is by Bourjois number 34, this one. I showed it a lot of times on my channel. This is this universal blush that uh, matches to a lot, a lot of makeups. And this is basically like baby pink with gold particles. I very much recommend this kind of blush when you want to add some freshness and life to your cheek. So especially when you're sick, it will be a good match. Of course, not a lot just to add some life I forgot about mascara I'm going to use Major Pleasure by Nabla like I said if you have watery eyes issues with uh, too much tears during your sickness then you want to use just waterproof mascara I'm trying to avoid lower lashes it's not worth it and of course no curler and brows no pomade i don't need any pomade if you need great the best would be brow pencil i'm going to use eyeshadow this one and maybe a little bit i mix it with this darker one just to make them a little bit more defined nothing really special well, much gentle effect done with pomade, right? <laughs> By the way, I have tutorial on my channel. It's maybe not super new, <laughs> but it's about doing your brows with different types of products. If you're interested, you can check it out. And basically that's it. The last step is some lip balm. I, ha I can't imagine using something else. <laughs> You can use um, lip gloss, for example, if you want to, but my lips are so dry that this is my lipstick today, <laughs> just lip balm. So here it is, finished makeup, bare minimum, and especially this makeup is blow your nose friendly. <laughs> so um, yeah, my nose right now is shining because I don't have any powder here, but this is good because if I would blow my nose right now, I can correct it either with amount of concealer that's left here or just add a little bit more and this area won't be cakey because there is no powder here. That's this simple. I hope this video is digestible, although I speak slowly. I think about every word. Listen, even in my native language, it's sometimes when I'm sick, hard to talk and in not my native language is even harder so i hope this video is digestible although i have hoarseness and all that stuff and i hope this video is just helpful and i hope that even if you are not going to do your makeup while you sick because i do not encourage you to do it <laughs> just be sick in peace <laughs> and i wish you to just lie in bed and I wish you don't need to go anywhere when you're sick, but I hope that maybe you just find something useful for your no makeup makeup routine, because that's basically a little bit no makeup makeup with little tips, especially targeted at being sick. When you're going to watch this video, I'm going to be healthy, maybe not fully, for sure I'm going to have some hoarseness still, but I'm going to be healthy, so don't worry. <laughs> so as always, thank you so much for being here, for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this video was helpful. And as always, I love you very, very much. Don't get sick. Watch out for yourself. Stay safe. And I see you soon. Bye.